good morning students In last class we saw about center of mass center of mass and laboratory frame of reference then central force field and what are the characteristics of central force field and finally how a two body problem was reduced to one body problem here in this class we will see Kepler's laws of planetary motion using Lagrangian equations. Then the expression for the first integral motion, expression for the time, then theta also. Then you find out the equation of the orbit or differential equation of the orbit. Okay. What is planetary motion by Kepler's laws? There are three types of planetary motion laws by Kepler. That are first law called as law of orbits. Second law is called as law of areas. And third law is called as law of periods. But we studied all these things in the earlier classes. That is in BSc level classes or in plus two level also. You may come across this. We just refresh it. What is first law of Kepler? Each planet moves around the sun in an elliptical orbit or path being sun at one of its foci. Each planet revolves around the sun. Sun is at the center and that motion will be an elliptical motion. So this is the first law. It is otherwise called as law of orbit. Then what is second law? It is the law of area. According to this law, the aerial velocity of the planet remains constant. That is, the radius vector from the sun to the planet sweeps out equal areas in equal intervals of time. Then third law is called as law of periods. It tells about the time and the area, the relation between time and the area. The square of the period of revolution about the sun is proportional to the cube of the semi-major axis of its orbit. That is, t square is directly proportional to a cube. So, these are the three laws. Here, using Lagrangian equation, we will prove only second law. That is, what is the second law? According to this law, the aerial velocity of the planet remains constant. That is, the radius vector from the sun to the planet sweeps out equal areas in equal intervals of time. Okay? Right. Now, we will see the proof. Let us consider this motion in plane polar coordinates r and theta. Plane polar coordinates r and theta. For this, we will just substitute or consider the equation x is equal to r cos theta, y is equal to r sin theta. When you are differentiating this, x dot is equal to, that is the first function d by dx of second plus uv method, huh? second function d by dx of first. Therefore, x dot is equal to, first you are differentiating this r, it is r dot, then cos theta, my, but then plus uh, cos theta when you are differentiating it is minus sin, minus sin theta therefore this value comes to minus therefore x dot is equal to r dot cos theta minus r theta dot sin theta sin theta into differentiating of theta it is a theta theta dot therefore x dot is equal to r dot cos theta minus r theta dot sin theta similarly y dot is equal to r dot sin theta plus r theta dot cos theta Therefore, kinetic energy will be is equal to half m r square here half m x dot square plus y dot square. Substitute this value, we will get half m r dot square r square theta dot square. This is the kinetic energy taken from this equation. In all the books, they will start as t is equal to half m r dot square plus r square theta dot square. How it comes? It will be from this equation, the value is coming here. Okay? Right. Then the potential energy is V of R. So, 
according to Lagrangian motion, T minus V. We know L is equal to T minus V. It is the Lagrangian equation. Therefore, L is equal to substitute that value of M R dot square plus R square theta dot square minus V of R. This is equation number 1. Since here, theta does not appear in L. That is in the Lagrangian equation. Only theta dot is appearing here. R dot is apply, appear, appearing here. Therefore, theta is not appearing here. Hence, it is a cyclic process. It is the momentum coordinate can be written as dou L by dou theta, dou theta is equal to 0. Dou L by dou theta is equal to 0. Then, dou L by dou theta dot that is equal to MR square theta dot. When you are differentiating this, dou L by dou theta dot with respect to theta dot then half m this term will be neglected then this r square there will be no r, this r square is uh, remains the same then theta dot square that is 2 theta dot when you are differentiating this it is become 2 theta dot this 2 and this 2 can be cancelled therefore the remaining will be m r square theta dot therefore this equation is m r square theta dot otherwise is equal to l it is the momentum coordinate okay now, as in the previous case, there are two uh, terms are there, r, r dot is there and theta dot is there, then r is there, therefore, how can we write the Lagrangian equation d by dt of dou L by dou r dot minus dou L by dou r is equal to 0, this is one equation, then d by dt of dou L by dou theta dot minus dou L by dou theta that is equal to 0, therefore, two cases arises, okay. They were all similar as we studied earlier. Okay, now differentiate and substitute the value in equation 1. We take the, the equation 1 and do this differentiation. First we should do dou L by dou R dot that is d by dt of when dou R dot means this term becomes a 0. So the remaining term will be half into m into 2 R dot square R 2 to cancel therefore 2 R dot. Okay. You understand this in terms of r dot. When you are differentiating this in terms of r, then this term will becomes a zero. So what will be remaining there? Half into m into this r square will be changed as two r then theta dot square. Two r this two and two can be cancelled. Therefore remaining thing is m r theta dot square and minus v of r that is nothing but minus dou v by dou r. So minus sign will be taken out here you solve this you will get this equation too. Similarly use this d by dt of dou L by dou theta dot since dou L by dou theta is 0 in the term there will be no value therefore dou L by dou theta dot dou L by dou theta dot means what half into m into uh, this r square will be remains the same then 2 theta dot 2 to cancel be, it will be cancelled then we will get this thing okay d by dt of m r square theta dot that is equal to 0 from this equation 3 you can otherwise write this equation d by dt of half r square theta dot equal to 0 that is m r square theta dot d by dt of m r square theta dot equal to 0 or m r square theta dot equal to 0 or r square theta dot equal to 0 or half r square theta dot is also equal to 0 okay m r square theta dot equal to 0 or r square theta dot equal to 0 or half r square theta dot equal to 0 all are same so correct this equation for half r square theta dot equal to 0 okay. let us consider this is the sun a planet is revolving like this okay so this is the area at a given time. This is the area at a given time. So what will be formula if you want to calculate this ds, this ds, this is the arc value. That arc is nothing but r into ds. This is radius into this small area ds. Therefore, ds is equal to r d theta. Okay, not uh, r d theta. Okay, ds is equal to r d theta. Now, what will be the area? Consider the triangle SAB half into R into DS. Substitute this the value DS as R D theta and solve. You will get DA by DT equal to half R square D theta by DT. 
r d a by d t is equal to half r square d theta by d t is nothing but theta dot. Now compare the equation 4 and 5, you will get half r square theta dot, there also half r square theta dot. Therefore, d a by d t is equal to half r square d theta uh, um, d theta by dt or theta dot therefore equal areas in equal intervals of sweeps out equal areas in equal intervals of time that will be a constant one this is kepler's second law of planetary motion that is the rate at which the planet sweeps out by the radius vector is a constant or aerial velocity dA by dt is a constant one. This law is a true for any central force field and can be treated as general theorem for central force field motion. That is why in the example also when we thought uh, in the uh, central force field we have given this, uh, this example a uh, Kepler's planetary motion. So this Kepler's second law of planetary motion is the basic law for all central force field motions. Okay, so this is Kepler's second law of motion using Lagrangian equations. Okay, now expression for first integral motion or expression for R of t. So, what will be the position at a given time when there is a motion takes place? Now we know that according to planetary motion, the same thing what I teach in the earlier slide, the same will be continued and there will be small changes. You see, t is equal to half m r dot square, r square, theta dot square, v is equal to v of r, then Lagrangian equation of motion will be L is equal to half m r dot square plus r square theta dot square minus v equal to 0. When you are differentiating with respect to dou r dot, you will get m r dot. When you are differentiating with respect to r, then you will get m r theta dot square minus dou v by dou r. This is what we already see in the earlier slide. Now, what will be the Lagrangian motion? There will be two motion arises, t by dt of dou l by dou r dot minus dou l by dou r is equal to 0. Therefore, d by dt of dou l by dou r dot, dou l by dou r dot is nothing but m r dot, so substitute here m r dot minus this dou l by dou r, you know, m r theta dot square minus dou v by dou r, that is equal to 0. Uh, d by dt, yeah, if we instead of if we, when we are differentiating this, then this r dot becomes r double dot, therefore m r double dot minus m r theta dot square minus dou v by dou r, that is equal to 0. R m r double dot minus m r theta dot square plus dou v by dou r that is equal to 0. But we know that L is equal to m r square theta dot. L is equal to m r square theta dot momentum coordinate, momentum compound. Uh, in the earlier side we saw you please refer that. Therefore, L is equal to m r square theta dot. R theta dot is equal to what? Uh, cross multiply it L by m r square. So, substitute this value of theta dot in this equation. Three. M R double dot minus M R L square M square R power 4 plus dou V by dou R equal to 0. Then cancel each other. This R, this M, M. Then this R will be cancelled. Then what will be the answer? M R dot square M R double dot plus dou by dou R. Uh, M R double dot minus L square by M R cube plus dou V by dou R equal to 0. Or M R double dot plus instead of this dou by dou r, when you are changing with respect to dou, dou by dou r, this is equal to L square divided by 2 m r square plus dou v by dou r. Okay? Then, m r double dot plus dou by dou r of L square by 2 m r square plus v equal to 0. Multiply this equation with respect to r dot, then you multiply all the things with r dot, then substitute, then solve this d by dt of m r square by 2 plus d by dt of L square 2 m r cube plus v equal to 0 or d by dt common at the d by dt of r m r dot square plus L square 2 m r square plus v equal to 0 or of m r dot square plus L square by 2 m r square plus v equal to constant which is called as the expression for first integral 
motion equation of motion first integral equation of motion okay you just this term na this is from l square by 2 l square by m r cube how you are changing this do by do r when you are differentiating this the same answer will come l square divided by 2 m r cube m r square 2 m r square that is 1 by r square is nothing but minus 1 by r cube therefore this value will 2 by r cube will come so 2 2 will be cancelled the same thing will happens therefore do by do r the instead of n square by m r cube you are changing do by do r into l square divided by 2 m r square this term only for you new otherwise all are same so when you are solving this equation then you will get half m r dot square plus l square by 2 m r square plus v equal to constant so this is called as first integral motion of equation now l is equal to m r square theta dot r l square is equal to m square r power 4 theta dot square now substitute this value in the equation of m r dot square plus l square by 2 m r square plus v equal to constant that is in the earlier equation phi you just verify it so in the place of l square you substitute and solve you will get this value of m r dot square plus r square theta dot square plus v this is nothing but the kinetic energy this is nothing but the potential energy hence this equation 6 represents the first integral motion represents the principle of conservation of energy that is the total energy will be equal to the combination of kinetic energy plus potential energy are you understand this so first integral motion represents the principle of conservation of energy now how will you calculate the time period this we know the fifth equation of m r square plus l square 2 m r square plus v is equal to constant that is nothing but energy e you know that from this equation therefore half mr dot square plus e minus v is it minus l square that is half mr dot square that should be is equal to the, this term will becomes here e minus v l square to m r square okay now this is a simple derivation r dot square that is equal to 2 by m e minus v minus l square by 2 m r square then r dot that is equal to this term will be becomes root or instead of r dot you change it dr by dt or dr by dt that is equal to root of 2 by m e minus v l square by 2 m r square or dt that is equal to dr divided by this term or t is equal to integral r not to r the term will be lower limit upper limit will be r not then r this value where r is equal to r not when t is equal to 0 or is equal to r not when t becomes a zero this gives r as a function of time now this gives the function r will be the function of time that is r of t once r of t is known it is very easy to find out the value of theta t now it is very easy to find out the value of theta t this is a simple derivation then how will you find out the expression for theta we know that l is equal to m r square theta dot or theta dot equal to l by m r square or d theta by dt that is equal to l by m r square or d theta is equal to the dt will be equal to so here therefore l by m r square into dt or theta is equal to 0 to t l by m r square by t into dt plus theta dot r theta minus theta not that is equal to integral 0 to t l by m r square t into dt where theta is a value of theta sorry theta dot theta theta 0 is a value of theta at time is equal to 0 so by knowing the value of theta by knowing the value of r and by knowing the value of v we can easily find out the equation of motion solution for the central force field so in this uh, in this uh, in this area what are the things we have calculated first we have calculated the first integral motion then r of t then theta of t from that we will easily find out the value of 
are the solution for the equation of motion of the particle in the central force field. Are you understand now? Right. Now, what will be the differential equation of the orbit? What will be the differential equation of the orbit or equation of the orbit? Now let us consider for this u is equal to 1 by r initial velocity that should be is equal to initial velocity of the orbit should be is equal to u or u is equal to 1 by r or r is equal to 1 by u dr by dt is simple derivation dr by dt that is equal to minus 1 by u square du by dt or minus 1 by u square du by d theta into d theta by dt just for mathematical purpose then minus 1 by u square du by d theta this d theta by dt is otherwise written as theta dot therefore dr by dt that is equal to minus 1 by u square du by d theta for uh, so, uh, apply the value of theta dot here l by m r square and dr by dt that is equal to solve this equation that is we know u we know the value of u so 1 by r, therefore here 1 by r square, u square, that is 1 by r square, du by d theta, l by m r square, it is in the denominator, therefore this r square goes here, therefore here r square will be the du by d theta, l by m r square, you cancel this r square and here in r square, therefore remaining term is dr by dt, that is equal to minus l by m, du by d theta. Again differentiate the equation 10 d square r by dt square that is equal to minus l by m d square u by d theta r square into theta dot. Here instead of d square r by dt square you just dr double uh, that is r double dot that is equal to l by m minus l by m d square u by d theta square into l by m r square l l will be becomes as l square LL becomes L square, then M square R square into D square U by D theta square. But we know that MR in a, from the previous slab, previous uh, equations, MR double dot that is equal to L square by MR cube plus dou V by dou R. How it comes? You see here, the value will come from here only. MR double dot minus L square by MR cube that is equal to dou V by dou R or mr dot is equal to l square by mr cube plus dou v by dou r that equation here we can write this equation here ok now now substitute the value of r in this equation substitute the value of r dot in the above equation you will get a m into minus l square by m square r square into d square u by d theta square that is equal to l square by mr cube plus dou v by dou r. By solving this equation, you will get dou square u by dou theta square that is equal to minus u minus m by l, l square u square f of 1 by u. This equation is known as equation of the orbit or differential equation of the orbit. This solving this equation, I will write here, you see just check it out. If you have any doubt, you please ask me. So, I substituted all the value of L, then we crossed or what other things will be neglected and we will finally get the value of this value and this value is here, the solution. If How this value comes? This comes from this area. Okay. I made it as star. You just see here and the value will come dou square u by dou theta square that is equal to minus u minus m divided by n square u square into f of 1 by u which is called as differential equation of the orbit. So, in this class we saw about Kepler's planetary laws of motion and we find out the Lagrangian equation of motion for Kepler's second law then first integral equation then the value of time that is the expression of time then theta then differential equation of the orbit so these are the topics we covered in this class you just 
verify my notes and you download this and you follow the uh, follow this lecture using my notes if you have any doubts you please ask me okay okay thank you have a nice day